In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator to make a 3D plastic soft drink bottle with a label attached to it, um, which will look a little bit like this. This is one that I made earlier, and here's another one that I made earlier. So we're going to make that in Adobe Illustrator. And to do that, there's a few things we need to do. First thing is we need to find an existing image um, of a bottle that we can trace around. So preferably a flat image of a bottle. So I found a, a Coca-Cola bottle image here. I'm going to trace around the shape of that bottle to make a 3D bottle. And then the second thing that we'll need to do is to create a label, a label with a logo and any other information on it that will actually wrap around the bottle in 3D. So firstly, go to Adobe Illustrator, click on File and New, and we'll create a new document here. Then we need to change the width and the height of the um, document that we're working with. So depending on what picture you download to use as a template, a picture of a bottle, um, you'll have to change the width and the height here. So the picture that I've got, the Coca-Cola bottle, is around about 300 pixels wide and about um, 690 pixels high. So it's 300 pixels wide, but I want to have double that space because I want to work on the shape of the bottle and I also want to work on creating the label. So I'm going to set up enough room that I can make the label and I can make the bottle next to it. So I'm setting the width to 600 pixels and the height to 690 pixels. And you can change this uh, depending on the size of the image template that you copy and paste into Illustrator. Just make sure that you have enough room to work on the bottle and the label. And make sure that when you type in the width and the height, if you're copying and pasting a bitmap image in, make sure that you just change it to pixels next to units rather than centimeters or inches or points which might be the default option. So 600 by 690 pixels is what I'm using. Click OK. And I'm going to go to the picture that I've downloaded and I'll copy that. Go back to Illustrator, click on Edit and then click on Paste. Okay now I want to enlarge this picture that I've just copied and pasted into Illustrator. Now I could just click on one of these points here and enlarge it, but what happens when I do that is it actually distorts the image and doesn't keep the proportions right. So click on edit and undo scale. Instead this time I'm going to hold down my shift key on the keyboard and then drag out those points to enlarge it and it will keep the proportions the same. There we go. Okay, we'll drag that to the left the selection tool and now we can work on the bottle to the left side of the document and on the right hand side we've got room to work on the label that will wrap around this bottle. Okay so next thing to do is to grab the pencil tool and this is what we'll use to trace one side of the bottle. When we've got the pencil tool we need to change the color. So to do that we need to change the stroke color and we can do that down here we can click on the stroke color here uh, and we can choose the color picture color picker to pick a different color I might make a green bottle so I'll click choose my color and click OK and just test that out how's that look that looks good okay we've got the pencil tool I've chosen green, I'll just delete that line. And now I'm going to trace around this bottle. If you have um, your tools in a different position to mine, you might be using a different workspace. So your toolbar might be on a different side of the screen to, as it is on my computer. If you want to reset your Adobe Illustrator layout to make it um, the default layout, you click on Window and you click on Workspace and then you click on Reset Essentials and that will change it back to the default um, workspace. 
in the Essentials workspace. Okay, so I've got the pencil tool. I've changed the um, stroke color to green. And now I need to carefully trace around the left-hand side of this bottle. Now I'll start from the top, but I'll start from just around about this point here, and I'll make a lip on the bottle. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to make the bottle look hollow on the inside. And you'll see soon the effect that that has. Now, it is really hard to trace this neatly. So it's best to go slow. Try to carefully trace it. Go down to the bottom of the bottle, in the middle of the bottle, and let go. Okay, now I've got a line there, but it's a little bit messy. Illustrator's kind of tried to smooth it out for me, um, but I've still messed up down here. So what I can do is I can grab the direct selection tool, click on that, and I can double click on one of these points and just drag it back in to smooth that off. Just drag them in. Just to smooth it off a little bit. Is a little bit fiddly. I think. I think I've got it. There we go. I think that looks good. Okay, so lines drawn up. Coca Cola bottle. We'll just leave there for a minute. The next thing that we'll do is we will start making labels. To do that, click on the rectangle tool. And we want to match the space here. We want to make the label the right size for the space that's provided for the label. So next to the Coca-Cola bottle, we'll draw up a rectangle. So I'll change the fill color so that the inside of this label, color of this label, is a little bit different to the color of the bottle. Might make it uh, yellow or a lime color. And OK. Oops. Undo. Because I'm actually I've still got the selection on the uh, line. I don't want to change the fill color of the line. I want to change the fill color of the rectangle. So click the rectangle. Click on the fill color. Change it to yellow, click on OK, and then draw up that rectangle. There we go. Okay, the next thing to do is to get the text tool or type tool and start typing. So I'm just going to call this energy. It's going to be the name of my drink, energy. Highlight that. Change the font size, make it bigger. Still not big enough, so I'll just uh, enlarge that a little bit more. And might change the font style as well. No, might just leave it as that. Okay. Grab the selection tool, drag the text onto the middle of the label space and use the arrow keys to move it around and there we go we've got a label okay now we can delete the coke bottle now we can get rid of that so click on the coke bottle with the selection tool click on delete press the delete key now we have the outline of the bottle and we have our label the next thing to do is make this label into a symbol so that we can use it later on. We can use it as um, a shape that will wrap around our 3D bottle. So you need to click on Window on the menu bar and click on Symbols. You highlight using the Selection tool. Just click and drag to highlight the entire label, including the text and the background, and then drag that on to 
the symbols that are there. Give it a name, let's call it label, and where it says type, change that to graphic and click OK. There we go now. That's saved as a symbol there, so we can reuse that again later and we can delete it from the document there. Click with the select tool again, click on the line um, that we've drawn with the pencil tool, click on effect, 3D, and then revolve. And what will this will do is actually spin this line around that we've made 360 degrees to create a 3D bottle. So click on revolve. The next thing to do is to click on preview so that we can actually see what's happening in the background. And computer's a little bit slow, but here we go. All right, now this looks a little bit funny. It actually looks like a candle holder. We don't want that. We want a plastic bottle. So where it says offset and from, instead of um, revolving the axis on the left side, we want to revolve it on the right side. So we click on that drop-down box and change it to right edge. And that should update. There we go. We have a 3D bottle, but it's not a very good 3D bottle. It's not a very good bottle if it doesn't have a label. So the next thing to do is to click on Map Art, and this is where we copy on the label. Now, there's different selections here of the surface. If you click on these arrows to go to the next surface, it goes down the bottle, highlighting different parts of the bottle that we can put the label on. At the moment, though, it's on the inside of the label, so if we choose one of these surfaces, it's only going to put the label on the inside of the bottle. We won't actually see it. So we want to go back up until the mesh looks like this, and it's on the outside of the bottle. All right, so we've selected this part of the bottle, so our label can go on this part of the bottle anywhere. The next thing to do is to choose the symbol, which is the label that we made. So click on the drop down box next to symbol and we choose our label. All right, now, once that comes up, I don't know why it's going so slow, um, the label will now show up on the bottle. And it should also show up here in this window. So here we go. All right, so drag that around until we're happy with the position and how much it's stretching over the bottle. Mm, no, too high. So drag that down a little bit. Okay, that looks like all right, and we'll just um, drag that out to the left a little bit so that the label actually wraps around the whole bottle or most of the bottle. Just a little bit more. And that's looking pretty good. Now, on your label, you can do a little bit more than just a logo or a name of the drink. You can put on a barcode, you can put on um, information about the ingredients, where it's made, all of that to uh, fill up the space on the label. A little bit more. Okay, happy with that. So I'll click OK. And here where this cube shows up, you can actually use the cube to um, spin your bottle around and view it from a different angle. So you might just click and drag that to turn it around. Slowly. <laughs> Up here, there we go. All right. Click OK, and that's it. It's done. We have a 3D bottle and it has a label on it. Okay, now, if you want to save this, click on File and save it as an uh, Illustrator file, 
But if we want to save it as an image that we can copy and paste into a document or post on the internet, you need to click on export. And then you need to choose a file type. Um, we want to save it as. So if you're going to upload it to the internet or maybe put it in a Word document or print it out, you can use JPEG and save it as a JPEG. And give it a name. Save. Choose the quality. So try and retain as much of the quality as possible. We won't change any of these settings. Click OK. And now exported that model as a JPEG image. And that's how you create a 3D bottle with a label in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching.